Welcome, John, to the Che Pod, one that we haven't done in quite a while. No, we haven't. It's the first one of the year, <laughs> the cool. first Canon Che Pod. <laughs> Um, we we did start this before on your old channel, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we did loads. It was all we did, I think. We did, um, yeah, we also did one about the EU. <laughs> <laughs> we know we don't want to go into no, politics. We don't want to go into politics. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do one about nerdy things. Uh, that's probably all the J-Pods are going to end up being nerdy about. Things. <laughs> nerdy things. And oh, some Star nerds. Wars in the background. Yeah. Um, which we're probably also going to end up talking about by accident. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, when you said Star Wars, um, I was going to discuss but we'll, we'll move on because we'll do a different one about star wars because that yeah. deserves its own thing yeah <laughs> the the balance the, the balance of me liking it and you not liking it is even too great playing, uh, even though i'm playing the game yeah it's fairly enjoyable it's fine anywho uh yeah we're going to be talking about different versions of characters it was your idea you well were, that was one talk i'm assuming it's because you saw han solo on the <laughs> yeah it was like yeah <laughs> but yeah it's a good starting point because i'm reading titans which has got a different Teen Titans squad that we're used to. Yeah. And you've been reading through The Flash, which has got different Kid Flash and different Flash and all sorts of shit going on. Yeah. Uh, so, where do you want to start off? Um, How do we start this? Well, <laughs> should we first talk about which are our favourite heroes and shit? Yeah. And then we can so, go into the depth on their who, versions. Aiden, who is your favourite superhero? Well, my favourite hero is The Flash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would never have guessed that, John. <laughs> Despite the fact I've read through so much of it, uh, mine is obviously Nightwing, because it's Nightwing. Of He's course. got a big bottom. <laughs> well, would you? Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> is there no, I other... like. I do like right. him just in general. He's just. I don't know. Like I liked him before I even knew who he was. Just yeah. like the name Nightwing, just like the way that he mm. looks and shit. It's just really cool. Well, I didn't like um, Flash before I started reading this. Like I liked him, but I didn't like. I wouldn't have said he was my favourite hero. Well, no, because you've got, like, that stigma of the CW, sort mm. of, att- which I know that you do like, but, like... I like bits of it, like, the first it, Yeah, it's good. not got the best reputation at the moment. No, but I liked, um... I liked watching bits of that, and then I read the comic, and now I'd say he's safe on my favourite hero. It's a little bit like somebody saying, oh, I really like Green Arrow, and it's like, no, you <laughs> you don't like Green Arrow, you like... You like, Arrow. Um, <laughs> you like Stephen Amell. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, sorry, we're duelling here. <laughs> um... But uh, who's your favourite villain? Uh, Reverse Flash. Really? Uh, Professor Zoom. Overall? Yeah. Oh, not, overall. You're not even going to go Joker? I, th- no, I thought you meant like favourite villain. <laughs> no, like... no, just in oh. everything. Oh, Scarecrow. And it doesn't have to be DC restricted. No, Scarecrow. Oh, it doesn't have to be DC restricted. No, oh, no. Green Goblin. Alright, oh, okay. I'm not <laughs> sure if you were going to go with Thanos. Chase. No, 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 Green Goblin. Because right, um, I know that you are a Thanos fan. I'm a big Thanos fan. But I'm mainly a fan of him from the comics. He's alright in the film. He's a good character in it, I just like how mental comic he's in his. Yeah. Um, Mine is Joker. Obviously. It's, you, you like <laughs> I just like every version of Joker at the moment, even, well, apart from Letters. Yeah. See, I would say I like Joker, but uh, like, I like characters to have an origin story. I like to know how they've started and what's got them in that position. Well, you'll be able to like whacking phoenixes. Won't That's, you? I'm a bit excited for that because I want to see what they're going to do. That's why I like Jack Nicholson's version so much. Yeah, you know where yeah, he's yeah. Nicholson's from. is good. I think Nicholson's might be my favourite. Yeah. My favourite. Um, what about like superhero team? Uh, superhero or, team. Or like, do you know like a, a a team up? Do you know how you've sort of got like Spider Man and Iron Man or the Teen oh. Titans or whatever? Uh, team up would probably be. I'm not gonna say Batman and Flash just because they. You got could straight up say Batman and Robin. I was thinking <laughs> about that, but it depends with Robin. <laughs> well, which we're gonna get into today. Yeah. I'd say my favorite team up is possibly Batman and Superman. Really, world's greatest, world's finest. Well, yeah, because I just think it's quite mental that they're so different. Fucking hell! I thought. It- I don't know why, but I thought you were going to say, like, the Trinity or something. I was like, I've never seen you ever talk about a no, Trinity comic no. before. I'd say maybe those two. I do like uh, Flash when he teams up with people, but it, again, depends which Flash. Because yeah. I only really like one version of Flash. Um, which is something we'll get into today. Well, so. which version of Flash? Go yeah, on. Barry Allen. Of course. I fucking love Barry Allen you know, as the Flash. <laughs> Wally West is banned whenever it comes to talking about the Flash. Well, we can discuss that today. Yeah, we'll, um, get, we'll get into it. We'll talk about it later today, so tonight. What, uh, tonight. <laughs> That's how long the J Pod's going to be. Well, I'm stuck. <laughs> um, I so, don't have a favourite team up. Mm, I suppose would... if I had to pick one, it'd be Nightwing and Damien. Ooh, where have you come from? Oh, God, I didn't even see you. You were so fucking tiny. Um. 
But yeah, I don't know. I've not really read too much with team ups, and I don't like the current team in Titans. Yeah. Which, like you said earlier, we'll get onto that later today. Yeah. Um, what about like I know that you said you liked Reverse Flash in Flash, but what other villains in Flash do you think are pretty good, and which ones are naff? The Rogues, I think, are all really good. I, I are think... they like Captain Cold? Yeah, they're all really yeah. good. They're quite interesting, and Gorilla Grodd's really good. What's the storyline like with him? Do they like go his storyline into it? Because I mean, I'm in the New Fifty Two. Yeah. Because I've not quite got into reading. Oh, I thought yet. you. Uh, have you I not finished, finished it. it. I finished yeah. it. But I've got like one comic to read, which is like the world of Flashpoint according to the Flash. Yeah. Like that's really good. Um, oh, but sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, his <laughs> villains, I'd say, are naff. Are like the ones that are in like just the one-off issues. So like, I think she's like the Rocketeer or something like that. Or yeah, she's a bit naff. Um, well, you get that with like you know Flamingo, who yeah. we saw. <laughs> People like him that are just in it for like one issue. Yeah, they're he's, all a bit shit. He's a bit wank. Um, so we got Flamingo, obviously, being shit. You've established. Oh, I want to be somewhere There's like, like loads at the moment in because I'm reading through New, New Fifty Two Titans because I gave up on the Batman at the moment. I'm having mm. like a break from it because yeah. like jumping from Grant Morrison to Scott Snyder is incredibly fucking difficult. Well. We um, both decided to pick up a new 52 run, didn't we? I didn't originally. I fell off the edge. Well, yeah, I was already collecting... Batman. I've been collecting Batman for, like, since before Christmas. <laughs> almost a year now. And I decided I wanted to get Flash. Yeah, so to... we've both gone... I'm reading the Batman run, and you're reading the Flash run, and we're sort of, like, go telling each other about it so that we know what happens. Yeah. And where it lines up and stuff. Mm. Like, I've realised, like, in The Flash or something, there's, like, that Forever Evil event that's quite big in Central City. I didn't even City. know it existed. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, a huge part in, like, what happens at City, but you don't actually have to read it. Yeah. You can if you want, obviously. But Well, I'm going to have to end to. up getting it, because I'm sure that it affects, uh, like, We Are Robin and stuff. Yeah. But I'm getting all sorts of fucking spin-offs and shit at the moment. But, um, so we decided to do that. What were you talking Oh, which villains are naff? Um, there's this, like, weird dead guy at one point who, like, Is it literally up. dead man? No, dead man's in it. Dead man's really good in it. Um, it's like this, this, this dead minor guy who's, like, a ghost. Mm. And it's part of, like, a really... There's a cool moment where you find out Eobard Fawn's name and that, oh, they are going to put him into the new 52 run. That's nice. Yeah. But the issue, like, he's in, I had real struggle finishing it because it was, like, in one of the TPs just called History Lessons. Yeah. And that was all, like, just the one-off ones, like, the one-off issues. It's a little bit like Graveyard Shift yeah. for Batman. It's just... A bit wank. Well, to be fair, Graveyard Shift might be really, really good, but it's just, like, one-off issues and yeah. stuff. It's just one-off little stories. Um, for me, um, fucking Black Glove Society. Mm -hmm. I know that I, I prefer Morrison at the moment over Snyder, just because that's what I've been reading. But um, Black Glove Society have been fucking wank. Yeah. They're just like the most... like I wouldn't mind if they'd done the twist and it was actually Thomas Wayne, because that's like a big thing that they've been building up. Yeah. Like, oh, is the leader Thomas Wayne? Is it not Thomas Wayne? Blah, 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 blah. And it turns out, no. <laughs> <laughs> if it had been, then fair enough. It's quite an important set of villains and what have you but it's just sort of like a bunch of mildly shit villains that have been clumped together with someone that could or could not be thomas wayne yeah and um, they're just a bit naff the uh so that's sad to the worst tp but that's literally one tp oh. with all of his bad villains in I yeah think. there's like not one after that uh the rest of the villains are usually pretty consistent because it's not mainly based around the rogues yeah they're mainly based around rogues grod and then the speedsters which, and one of his villains is him, which was quite cool. <laughs> Future Barry, that was a really good issue. Yeah. That would I say is my second favourite. Um, well, at the moment, like, I don't, I wouldn't say that Teen Titans is necessarily bad. No. But it's weak in a lot of places. It's like, it's good enough for me to still continue reading it. Yeah. But it's not like, oh my god, I fucking love it, let me buy it. Oh, I've already bought it all. But, yeah. <laughs> like, let me just buy it all at once or whatever. It's just like... I don't know. It's just sort of like cheap, diluted Justice League at the moment because you've got one dude that can like mm. do sort of cyborg shit, but she's got like five legs. <laughs> right. Then there's like somebody that can do like diluted Green Lantern shit, but he can only do bricks. It's That's like he can shit. form like Green Lantern stuff, but it can only be made out of bricks. <laughs> shit. 
you've got Red Robin, who's literally just the Batman of the group. Superboy, who's evil and just like Superman, but if you had Superman bad. And then, like, Wonder Girl, who's Wonder Woman but blonde. <laughs> so the team is weak as fuck. Oh, and they made, like, the Green Lantern diluted guy gay. Oh, and lovely. it was just like a throwaway line. It was just like, oh, by the way. <laughs> it was um, like, oh, okay. Well, that's because you bought it because um, the kid flashing in it, in it, in it, in it, in it, in it, in it. The kid flashing it, you thought was uh, Wally West. We are playing Starfighter Team okay. Battle. <laughs> you thought that the kid flashing it was yeah. Wally West, didn't you? Yeah. And then after I'd bought it, you decided to inform me that it's Bart Allen. Yeah. But, but I really but... like Bart Allen. <laughs> uh, He's you actually, really good. Bart Allen is in the Road to Flashpoint uh, right. build up. And it turns out that's where you find that there's a bit of exposition because you've meant to know who he is obviously before, but if you read that, you know he's from like the future and shit. Yeah. And um, you find out like he's come back and he's a descendant of Barry, but because the uh, Flashpoint event, which we both enjoyed, I yeah, really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, wipes ten years of history out, which they don't say. I think you they, that was Ooh, they announced it before the reveal and, of Manhattan though, which we didn't realize was like you did they, when you clicked it. Yeah, <laughs> it's revealed. I think is it in Rebirth or something? It's revealed. Well, it was like when was wasn't it like twenty eleven that they did it? Yeah, and I was like, surely they'd not planned almost ten years in advance that they were going to use Doctor Manhattan as the villain. It's like, oh no, no, they did. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Um, so that was the thing that I was like, oh okay, yeah, I like this. This is good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Flashpoint, I still need to get all like, the tie-ins and shit of it, though. Yeah. I'm turn. <laughs> You're trying to figure out how to oh, maneuver yeah. the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> it's fine, it is a little Woo! bit weird. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's... So that's another version of a hero, though. I've crashed. <laughs> that's another oh, version God. of a hero, though. Kid Flash being Bart Allen rather than Wally. What about... You said Scarecrow were your favourite villain. Let's mm. talk about... So did you like Cillian Murphy's live-action? We're all right. It, I quite like it. It would. It would. I didn't like him in the other films afterwards because I oh. thought it was just like, oh, you've put him in here because, you know, he's silly and Murphy and you're Christopher Nolan. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all oh, right, okay, you've just bunged him in. No, I, I thought it were all right. Um, obviously we're not. We don't talk about No Man's Land. <laughs> no, No Man's Land. <laughs> just shit. like weird, sort of like religious, not religious scarecrow. Well, I, I mainly like him because he's obviously good in the comics, but I mainly like him because of the Arkham games. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Arkham Knight. That's really good. And then the animated series as well. That's pretty damn good. I just... I don't really remember him in the Arkham games too much because I didn't replay Knight's story. Oh, so yeah. I don't really remember what he specifically did. Well, he was so... like, responsible for it all, wasn't he? I knew he were, I know that, but I didn't know, like... You know, I couldn't name some of his, like, greatest scenes or something. The ending one's pretty good. I couldn't be like, oh, well, he says this line and that's why I love him. Oh, I I've just... I know, like... Things. I just know, like, the outlining structure of yeah, what he did. That's fair enough. So. Um, oh, God, I'm locked on to take you out to the sky. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Crashed into your bottom. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what other... Oh, Gotham. Gotham Scarecrow. Right, Gotham. Gotham's you hated redeemed it. it. He's re they've redeemed it. As soon as I showed you that clip of him mopping off someone's head with a scythe, you were like, yes! <laughs> he's great in that bit. It, the, all of his other scenes, apart from the first episode that he's in, like, when he's with Jerome and stuff, he's great. Right. It's, it's just that they've really fucked him up with everything else. Right, okay. But, uh, I'd say, what would your favourite? The Arkham one? Yeah. Just because... I'll have to go with Gotham. You like Gotham's better. Yeah, I just like his outfit and the voice. and right, That's fair enough. I don't know. I haven't watched it properly. I've just seen clips of it. The dispute now comes with Joker. Because oh, God. my favourite version, at the minute, is Jeremiah. Overall, mine's Nicholson. Yeah. Uh, oh, overall. If um... I can... I don't know. Do you count Jerome? That's the thing. That's no. the big question. No, I don't. If you don't count Jerome, then what does Jerome count as? Jerome's just like a character. Jerome's just origin. Jerome. Jerome's literally yeah. I'd say Jerome's literally just Jerome. That's a shame. Because um, <laughs> I don't like Jeremiah at all. Aw. I well, just don't like the slow, methodical Joker. You won't like War of Jokes and Riddles then. <laughs> That's fine. I don't think you're gonna like that then. That's fine. Uh. But no, I, I really like that one. 
It's just like I think you've seen the scene where like Jerome goes into like the bank or whatever, and he's like going up to the receptionist. Yeah. And he's like, "Oh no, don't go in there. They've got no heads." Yeah. I just like shit like that. See, I don't mind that, but I've seen that that many times. It's nice something to, like because Joker's always presented in the same way in any format. Even the Heath Ledger ones presented. Oh, I he's don't. Meant, he's like don't like Ledger that he makes, much. Yeah, he makes jokes and then he's like in the Dark Knight. He's an oh. anarchist. And then in the... And it's meant to be different to the 1989 one. But it's not. Because they're still causing chaos. They're still doing yeah. the same thing. Just one at a gang. And then you've got the one from... <laughs> that danced around to Prince. Yeah. That's the more important thing here. <laughs> and you've got the one... I have no idea what the fuck I am. You've got the one from Suicide Squad. Who's literally every Joker... It's just Jim Carrey. Yeah, and it's like every, jo <laughs> every Joker fucking uh, cliche rolled yeah. into one. And it's just nice seeing something different with Jeremiah, because at least the, cause that's the issue I have with Jerome. Jerome's great, I think, and Cameron Monaghan's great at acting, but it, again, it's just loads and loads of cliches for the character. Yeah, that's why I'm not overly like His I like him in the new in, Fifty Two, um, but there's still stuff I'd say. I think you'd prefer just, him in yeah. season two of the show because mm. they did a lot of like animated style stuff. Yeah, and that's what he usually gets like. Well, that's for more. I was, that's the issue I've got. Like since the animated series, everybody does the same thing but they're never going to do it as good as mark hamill did the voice for it yeah they're never ever going to match that up so they should just try and do something new oh, i've picked mall and mall shit <laughs> oh no i don't know what i've I'm gone doing. invisible apparently well slightly invisible <laughs> oh god i'm for taking God's off sake. um let's go Superboy. so right. i don't think i'm not you've i don't not, know you've I've, Superboy. I've only read like one thing to do with Superboy, and like i said he's evil but we know that he's not proper Superboy. He's not like Superman's son Superboy. No. He's like some sort of... They sort of stole it from Flashpoint, actually. Because in Flashpoint, he's like a government thing, isn't he? He's like a government weapon Superman. Yeah. And they, like, set him loose. And that's what he is in uh, Titans. Yeah. He's like a government weapon that's meant to take down the Teen Titans and, like, capture metahuman teenagers. And... I don't know, I don't mind that sort of storyline and shit, but with him being on the front cover, you kind of know that it's not going to be something that lasts for ages. Yeah. And knowing that he's not actually Jonathan Kent is just kind of like a... Like, oh. <laughs> Never mind, you're going to, like, leave at the end of New 52. Yeah. I get that. I think so, the only f experience I've got is Superboy, Superboy Prime from, like, one of the Crises, and he's just wank. He's just a Marty twat. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like that's the same with everybody that's sort of like not not a rip off robin but you know like just a sidekick that's very similar to the person yeah. that they're with that's something that fucking pisses me off when people say like bucky barnes was as good as robin no, <laughs> no. who the fuck remembers bucky before he was winter soldier nobody he was naff he was fucking naff but that's like a valid argument it was like who's better robin or bucky Robin, it's like, no, you're comparing Bucky because he's Winter Soldier. Yeah. Well, there are some aspects of Robin I'd say are shitter than... If it was like Wayne. Nightwing and Winter Soldier, then fair enough, because they were like both sidekicks before. Yeah. But Robin and Bucky Barnes is no. a bit... I think all Robins I'd still pick over Bucky. Um, they just don't really do much Jason at all. Todd's uh, Robin's a bit shit. He's only good after he became Red Hood. Mm. See, I don't know. I haven't got that run. I'm going to get that run, because they re-released it. Yeah. But that's, like, my goal at the moment. It's just rebuying, like, sort of retro-ish stuff, so it's all canon to me No Man's Land. Yeah. Um, Who else is there that's had, like, multiple versions? <laughs> multiple versions? I don't know. I'm trying to think. That's not, I'd say, my favourite version of Joker, is there? Because we're just talking about live action. If I have to conclude comics, it's either Dark Knight Return... Not Dark Knight Return. Is it Dark Knight Returns? Yeah. Or Killing Joke. If we're incorporating comics into it. Oh, Death of the Family, easily. Yeah. You like that one a lot. Yeah, it's my favourite at the moment. <laughs> Just, I haven't read Endgame. I'm assuming when I read Endgame, that'll be my favourite. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Death of the Family, easily. Um... So, shall we talk about... Since we talked about, like, favourite versions of... Should we just talk about favourite? So, different versions of The Flash. Because I, I want this to be a talking What point. do we mean, like... Are we talking like New Fifty Two Rebirth or it's... the actual people that are in the Flash costume? Because uh, well, if you we're like going Wally West Flash, don't you? Well, that's just because I like Wally. Yeah. But 
like, <laughs> if we're going off of people that have worn the same costume, then we can do the same for Robin. Yeah. If we're going off of well, we've established eras, that, then... We've established, like, well, how about Kid Flash? Because that's a much bigger talk. Because there's obviously, like, normal Wally, then you've got um, New 52 Weird Wally, part. who was black Wally, I was more thinking. Oh. And was then, he still Kid Flash? Yeah. Black Wally's Kid Flash. I just don't think he becomes it in New 52. He, like, Wallace West and Wally West are two different people. Yeah, but Bart Allen's you know. also Kid Flash. Yeah. So... I There's... don't know. Because <laughs> that's not referenced either in Teen Titans. It's literally just, oh, I'm Kid Flash. Hello, he's Kid Flash. It's not like, oh, you're Kid Flash, but there's also another Kid Flash. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is works. why I don't like the Flash that much, because it's too confusing. I'd say... Wally... A normal Wally, so Ginger Wally. Um, He's pretty good. Like, he's like... People uh, compare him to Barry Allen because obviously he became Flash after him. And he was, like, really, really good. So people get pissy about... Um, I was actually using a different shit. Listen to that one. So people get pissy when the new 50... No, sorry, Rebirth run continues with Barry Allen. Yeah. Because no one wants to see that, apparently. I do. I like Barry. Um, so that's... It. Then Black Wally, I think, is meant to be... I feel like we need to raise mm. the bar a little bit and just straight up go, like, do you feel the need for Black Wally? Not in... Because <laughs> this is where, like, people are like, Oh my god, you're being racist! No. It's literally just like... You like Miles Morales. Mm. But it's talking about, is there an actual fucking need for, you know... Ra I like, feel racial is... bending. I feel... Not really. I don't think it needs to happen. I get people are probably pissy because... Well, there's not enough black superheroes. Mm. And I can get that, but... That's why before we'd started this, I asked you... Uh, you know, have you seen Black Panther? Yeah. Because that was going to be a talking point. No, not yet, but I want to. But I know that that's a black hero done right. Yeah, it's brilliant. Exactly. Fucking love that film. There's not a lot of action scenes in it, but it's great. But um, but if we're going to talk about, like, if we need to, no, not at all. But that's think, like, um... yeah, the Black Panther situation is different to if you take a superhero and change... It's right. the same gender bending. If it, if it, like, if it's an actual change to the character, like, it changes the personality and makes them better, then yeah. fine. But if you just... If you're just changing if you're doing their... it for the sake of... Yeah, I don't think it needs to happen. Like, Barry, when he becomes black... Well, he doesn't become black, but when he's the black version in the Flash run, he is a different character. Like, the personality yeah. is different. And I think See, it works that for I'm the... okay with. It's just that the mm. name thing confuses mm. me and shit. I'm all I right if it's it a new work... person. It works somewhat for the better. Because yeah. I think it gives him a new origin. So yeah. you get a new aspect to it. But when he's just, like, normal Wally, you have obviously already know the character. It's the confusing part is that they brought back normal Wally... <laughs> Right. So you like, you don't know like what it means because that's the the big topic point at the moment when it comes to like race bending and shit like that is people are like oh well <laughs> see we shouldn't be talking about it to some people because a lot of people are like oh well you're privileged white boys you don't have to worry about that shit mm. but I don't think it really matters it's just like opinions and stuff mm. I get that like black superheroes there needs to be more of them. It Obviously. should be equal. But it should be... They shouldn't just be changing the no, race I don't of characters. Think you should get a character and physically it, change like, the race. Because the difference... The reason why it works with Spider-Man is because... It's a different Miles character. It's a completely different person. It's yeah. not that they've uh, uh, race bent somebody. It's like Female 4. That's it might not be good. But it's a completely different person. Yeah, so it's not as bad as just taking a character and just changing the skin colour for the sake it of it. It becomes really confusing, because you don't know what... I'm not saying it's necessarily always bad. Like, Wallace West, as I think that's his actual name, the name of Black Wally, is a different character to Ginger Wally, as I've said. And they have different personalities, but the fact that they're both the kid Flash, they're both the nephew of that... Because it messes up Iris... Because if you read the Flash run, Iris goes from like just being how she was before, so a yeah. white, uh, brown-haired woman... To being a black woman and i'm not saying that oh i don't want black iris not at all it's fine i don't mind the character's near enough stays the same yeah and she's still a great character in the comics but it comes really confusing because you don't know which characters are which so uh, if it if she was a completely different person it, we wouldn't have this issue i'm all right with it in do you know in terms of like the cw where it's like because mm. it's not already that they're there's not already that established character in the cw no. it was bringing in the character for the first time yeah. if they'd Med a Spider-Man TV show, and then and Pete, if, if Peter Parker was black. Yeah, fair enough because you've not already started the TV show with a white Peter Parker. Yeah, got no issue at all. <laughs> like I've um, I'm, I've, I've got no issue with people being 
black in like race, yeah, race. this has turned no. very like sensitive no, hasn't no, no. it <laughs> i've got no issue with like you've got to say it over race, and over again uh race bending because i i actually thought that um when we were talking about castings for batman who could follow up ben affleck i said yeah. i wouldn't mind Idris elba yeah that'd be good so we've got no issue with it it's just they need to they can't change their minds halfway through so like start yeah. with a white character and then oh i mean black. It doesn't do it as much it, now. Yeah. It's sort of like, I think they've realised, but it, there was like a point where it was just like, oh, we need to think of something new for this character. What about if we changed their skin colour? Yeah. And because, it's like, oh, we'll be loved by people for diversity. Yeah, that, that makes sense. It's just a much. shallow reason. Yeah, if you're genuinely doing it and it changes aspects of the character, like the personality in that, then fine. It's go the ahead. exact same with sexuality. Yeah. There's no need to make a character gay for the sake of, like, making things diverse if you're gonna make the character gay and it's gonna like expand their characteristics and they're gonna have like story arcs based off of it and shit then fair enough but if you're gonna do it and just do like a throwaway line mm. and that's it then there's no point doing it because mm. it doesn't change anything no and i feel like that's <laughs> it's a good job i said that because i feel like we were going down a, a rough path <laughs> Which could just give us well, some hate we, because trying, we don't know how to word it. I know, I'm trying to sort of make it seem like I don't I <laughs> don't genuinely have an issue with stuff like that's that. That's like the same idea. It's just like if it doesn't benefit the character, then don't do it. Mm. But there was like a big trend where it was like, well, oh, well, he's gay and she's a lesbian and he's now black and she's now Asian. Well, you, the way it was. Asian. <laughs> the worst example is because of it, like, now this is going to sound really wrong, but you oh, know how God. like DC have brought back White Wally? Right, yeah. It's like. Well, why have you already got the black one? I don't understand why you've had to bring back the white one because they're the same character. They are. They have different personalities, but they are the same character. That's what you were going for. And if they're not the same character, uh, and then, explain to us why. <laughs> and then they've backtracked, and apparently one's the son of someone else. Oh, and God. I haven't got to the rebirth one. They might explain it. But it's like, well, what was the point in having a big hoo-ha about making him black if you just then later down the line just going to say, oh, he's a different character? Yeah. You may as well have just stuck to your guns saw it out and then people would have probably respected it the decision more but um is there anybody that you think would benefit from like a race change we've seen like batman ninja yeah that was you said you enjoyed that it was really good that yeah it's not been reviewed quite well but i said it looked quite good and you gave it a go and you said it was good so hmm. um, you've said black batman yeah is I there think anybody else it all depends on like personal like, because people have said, like, when it comes to film, um, they'd like to see stuff like people take that. Like, a black Joker. Give yeah. Because the Batman. Mm. The Batman. <laughs> that had a black voice actor for him. Yeah. yeah. He, I fucking love that ba uh, that Batman, that Joker. But people, like, um, say... Uh, like, I think the live the action is more about the uh, actor rather the, than the yeah. character. That's what it should be, but people still get uppity about, like... Yeah. Like, when um, Heath Ledger was cast as ba Joker, people got uppity about that. But that weren't a race thing, though, were it? No, no, no. <laughs> but like people got it. No, but that's just like taking into account what he yeah, acted yeah, yeah. like, and then Jared Leto. So it's like if they brought a black guy on to the project and said, "You are going to be the Joker," would people be Pe ready for that? People would lose their shit. Yeah, like, that's not the Joker. It's like, well, why? Exactly. Why is that not the Joker? Why can that not be the Joker? It's just like the hypocritical views of a nerd, because they'd be like, "Oh no, he can't be black," and then if you take him and make him not black, it's like, "Oh well, why aren't you making him black?" Mm. It's so you're in a, a lose lose situation. Mm. Anyway, should we move on? From... I've got another thing for you. Oh, have you? Oh, not well. race or sexuality related. It's still different versions of things. Do you want a Snyder cut? No. Why? <laughs> you like Snyder's <laughs> directing choices. I don't. Yeah, but did you watch Justice League? Yeah, and I'd rather them just kill the DC and start again. <laughs> Would you not rather it be retconned and Snyder continues his story? No, no. He writes, he writes his films. Oh. If he didn't write them, if he didn't write them, what about? Go for it. Um, have you seen the latest footage of Cheetah from Wonder Woman? I've seen a picture where she's in a museum. Oh yeah, yeah. They released um, some behind-the-scenes stuff of um, Kristen Wiig doing like a weird jump thing. Yeah. And at the moment, it looks like they're not going for CGI. What would you prefer? CGI or physical makeup like Killer Croc? Ooh, CGI over physical makeup really? like Killer Croc. Yeah, because Killer Croc was fucking abysmal. <laughs> he looks so dumb. I don't think he looked that bad, but he didn't look like Killer Croc. <laughs> no, I don't like him. He I looks don't... dumb. I didn't mind how he looked. I just didn't think he looked like Killer Croc. 
I would have preferred like a 12, 13 foot tall physical monster killer croc. Mm. Well, it depends on like, if it's going to be like practical like that, no. If it's going to be actual good practical effects, sure. Go yeah. For it. He got an award for that. Didn't win an Oscar? For best makeup, which he didn't deserve. <laughs> you were up against like Star Trek and stuff. It won't, yeah, it didn't have much competition, but still, the makeup <coughs> in that film's dreadful. I'm trying to think of some other versions. Um, Favourite Robin? Dick Grayson. Or Tim Drake. I like Tim Drake as Robin. Um, are you looking forward to Titans? No, because Robin looks like a man-child. Well, they've In done, fact, no, uh... he looks like Robin Trotter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about Robin. But, really good casting for Beast Boy. That's a diversity actor with Ryan Potter, because he's Asian. He's Japanese-American. He? Oh, I don't know. I think he is. Or at least he is in some... Things. Oh, I'm not sure, but I know that that was like a big thing when they cast him. It was like, oh, they're going with diversity. Yeah, but the difference so... is that's that's on the act. I don't think they'll have literally picked up. Like, oh no, no, you no, are no. Asian, you are Beast Boy. I no, think no, it'd no, have been no. based on his acting. Oh yeah, he was campaigning for Tim Drake. Yeah. So it was definitely on like actor into uh, rather than character, but that's like a really really good example of how to do it. Yeah. Because we've never seen live action Beast Boy. Well, they're not based. Then they're not basing the. Uh, picks off of um, like diversity. It's based on his acting ability rather than, which is great. That's how it should be. That's how it should always be. Kill. Oh, it's just different when it comes to comics when you're doing stuff yeah. like that because there's lots more to take into account. Do you reckon you'll watch? Oh god, Jason Todd's casting. <laughs> like a fucking alien. <laughs> I don't reckon I'll watch it. No, I I think I'll give it a miss just because I don't like some of the casting choices. Well, I'm going to do what I said to you. I'm going to wait until it's all out on the on like the DC streaming thing, and then I'll buy the DC streaming thing so that I don't have to like, because it's going to pan over like the space of like four months if they're going to release it like weekly. Yeah, they're not going to release it in bulk like Netflix do. No, so um, I'll just wait until it's all out. Say. So, what were we talk? We were going to try and talk about different versions of characters, weren't we? Well, yeah, we've been through. Sort of like Superboy, and what about like artists? Different artists, character, yeah, yeah, sure. Because I'm big on Capullo. You quite like Capullo, but I you like think Capullo. some of his stuff looks a little bit meaty and weird, and like I think the jawlines are a bit huge. <laughs> he goes for like really bulky-looking human beings. I like um. I like, I like it, it's just... We're not doing another one of them, no. by the way. No, <laughs> that was dreadful. Uh, I'm trying to think who does, like, the art for... It's, I don't think it's Vendetti, I think he does the writing. Whoever does the art for the last four or five issues of Flash is good. Because uh, the first one, it starts out, like, the old style, where it's, like, painted. Mm. Which isn't bad, it looks nice. Uh, it's just, I prefer the other one. You like the Arkham Asylum art. Mm. You know, the madhouse on... Earth or whatever it's called. See, I like the story, but the art is a bit dodgy. It's I don't mind odd. the art, but it makes it quite difficult to read. I think the it works for that, but it wouldn't work in anything else. Yeah. Uh, so I've saw some of my favourite art, actually, and I can't remember what... The, I think it was like Venom versus Carnage. The art in that's gorgeous. Uh, I'm not really I don't know it. who's done it, but it looks really nice. And the, the ultimate art, art's nice. Yeah, the ultimate art's really nice. Um, Especially in that game that they brought out. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Um, that's another thing, like, Ultimate Spider-Man versus Normal Spider-Man. Like, I know you haven't read much Normal Spider-Man, but that's two different versions. I've not read either at the moment. I prefer the Ultimate run. I think I'm going to end up preferring the Ultimate Well, that's what they're basing Collins off of. Like, I prefer the Ultimate run, but, um, loads of people say it's a bit bloated and over too much. I think that's just because they knew it were limited. Yeah, which is upsetting. If you make a limited series, then you're going to try and squash as much as you can in, aren't you? Yeah. So. <laughs> the, um, I do agree with them that Ultimatum or whatever was far too gory. It did not need to be as gruesome as it was. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Um, um, I don't know, should we include Star Wars in this video? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, we'll just... I feel, I feel like it's very apparent with what we're doing. We should have played Injustice. Yeah. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, that's something as well, I was going to say. That's another different version. The movie Harley Quinn to like the animated series. Well, I like comics. both. I'm not fussy. I like... So, well, for me, she's one of the strongest parts of the film. But mm. that's just because it's a weak film. Yeah, I, I don't like... I her. can stomach watching it over and over again, whereas you can't. I can't. I couldn't watch it once. 
because <coughs> I think down to the creative decisions that were taken. I don't I don't know if I like if I'd blame it on David Ayer or not because I know that some of his films haven't been necessarily good, but they gave him like six weeks to write a script, which isn't very long at all considering Matt Reeves is currently taking like a year to write his Batman one. Hmm. So I don't know if it's necessary. It's not entirely. David Ayer's fault, but he is a large majority to blame for what happened with the characters and shit. Yeah. There's no excuse for what they did to Joker in that film, because he's just so bad. Hmm. I don't like that film. He's just I abysmal. Like, I don't like what they did to Harley, because I like the animated series Harley a lot. Like, the character, I think, grows on you. Yeah. So I was excited, and then I think the comic appearances before that film, I enjoyed, because... Uh, there weren't like she didn't have a main series. She was literally. I don't know what's gonna spot. But I think she's too much of an annoying character to be a main. That's yeah. just my personal thing. I think Harley Quinn's too annoying. It's her voice and then her mannerisms. I think that she works better when she's just being Joker's like. I agree that she psychic. shouldn't be a main character, but I think that it's just the whole sort of like pushing women to the front thing. But I don't think you need that with someone like Harley Quinn. No, no, no. Because you've got it with Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman's great. They're she's... doing a whole franchise of Wonder Woman. <laughs> she's going to have a trilogy. She's pretty much the only thing keeping the DCU at float at the minute because she's yeah. the best bit. <laughs> but I do. I don't think she should have been ever a main character. The main character of that film should have been Boomerang. Or Deadshot. Boomerang. <laughs> Boomerang was the it's most Deadshot, relatable bit. Easily. <laughs> Boomerang, I know Boomerang's like crap, like in terms of the comic. Like in the he's film, crap he's in good. terms of the film anyway. He didn't really do anything. No, I thought he was good in the film. He was good, but he didn't do anything. No, you're right. <laughs> he's like his ability is a shit. The only good thing that he really did was like the fucking Flash cameo. The issue you've got though with um. They tried leading with another collab film. Like they did it with um, what's it? BBS. Name? Yeah, and it doesn't work. Because... Well, I enjoyed BBS, so yeah, but I... you can't lead with a film. <laughs> no, like that. I agree that it deserves a lot more setup than just oh, we're doing a universe. Here you go. Oh my god, this what you're terrifying! You doing? <laughs> I know because <laughs> oh. you can't beat me as Han when I'm Han Solo. I've done it twice already, John. The fucking AI can beat me, <laughs> but um. So yeah, Suicide Squad, Harley, I don't like. I don't like her in the New 52, I don't like her in the film, I don't like her in the Rebirth. I just don't like the character anymore. I, I don't mind reading, like, because I've started the Suicide Squad run for the New 52, so I don't mind, like, reading that with her mm. sort of being, not like the leader, but a main player. I'm just not going to read, like, her solo run. No, Because I, I don't think she... She's the right pick. I'm not saying I don't think... Because you say, oh, I don't like... Harley Quinn. Oh, well, you don't like women then? No. <laughs> not at all. That's not it at because all. Because I like Wonder Woman. Wonder well, Woman's there you go. Great. And I like Catwoman. Catwoman should have been what got the main run. She's got one now. She'd be great in Suicide Squad. She should have been. If she have been, should have been in Suicide Squad, she should have been the main. Because if they wanted to introduce her, what better way than that film with all those villains in? And the fucking Batman cameo worked perfectly. Yeah. Instead of having Batman fucking take out shitty Jim Carrey Joker I mean, with Harley that. Quinn, just, yeah. They've got history. It's great. It links up with a solo Batman film. Mm. It's perfect for it, but... Well, they didn't want that. No. They wanted, oh, we want Yoku, we want to make him neon, and we want to have Harley Quinn, and we want to have a... It's just all sales and shit. It's like merch stuff. It's Hot Topic. That's what's driving <laughs> it. I blame them. Reddit and Hot Topic. It's a good job you don't like Young Bucks anymore, because they've hooked up with Hot Topic. Just don't like that. <laughs> I just oh, don't like that whole sake. culture of... Oh, we need to, so we're going to rebel against it if we don't get what we want. Yeah. It's like, that. you could say that's what we're doing, arguably. We're just bringing up these points and arguing. But the difference is we're saying why we don't like someone. We're not going out and, like, boycotting things yeah. because we don't get what we want. We'll still probably watch these films because we want to see if they improve on their own mistakes. Oh, I'm still. I'm going to go see Aquaman. I can't stand underwater films, but I'm going to go see Aquaman. I'm, I'm going to see Aquaman. I couldn't care less for the character either. But I'm still going to go see it because mm. I want to see what they do with it and stuff. Mm. I'm interested in it. Yeah. Because it's fucking Aquaman. Somehow they've made him, like, a main player in the DC universe because they've cocked up everything else. Yeah. Uh, Aquaman's not even that good. <laughs> no, Aquaman's a bit shit. But they've, they've... Well, they've ticked all the diversity boxes with him mm. because you've got Jason Momoa, who's, like, Samoan, isn't he? Something like that. I'm not sure. Really. He's, like, Samoan, Hawaii, sort of, that region. Maybe Kiwi. <laughs> Nobody knows. 
And then you've got, like, all of the possibilities for, like, underwater tribes and, like, seven seas and stuff. You could have, like, Pirates of the Caribbean style, like, Asian underwater tribes and shit. Yeah. And I really want them to do that because it'll be great. So yeah. I'm hoping that they do. But, um... It's not looking promising at the moment. <laughs> no. They've released some images and it just looks like fish people. Oh, great. So. Um, but, yeah, so somehow Aquaman's interesting. People are interested yeah. in Aquaman. See, you know it's sh you know you've made a mistake when you release Suicide Squad and your best character in it is Captain Boomerang. Because Deadshot even has this, like, why does he care? <laughs> why? Yeah. Like, does that people like bring up the bar scene as why they like the film. No. But that seems shit. Mm. Yeah, it's awful. No, no. But, um... I can't, off the top of my head, I can't even think of a scene in that film that makes me like it. There is a reason I like that film, but I can't think of what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have to physically re-watch it, and I'm like, ah, oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone well. You've murdered me. Uh, but... So, yeah, Suicide Squad, we've talked about, so... I think um, it's clear at the moment that, like, they've not done a necessarily good a version of Suicide Squad in live action or comics. No. Because comics is very bumpy and up and down, and live action, they've just not, they've just not done good. No. It's just straight up not fun. No. Um, what about Fantastic Four? <laughs> right. Because they're we, making a return. Well, it's not that. We have a talking point for Fantastic Four anyway, because we both liked... Somewhat. fan -forstic. Yeah, we both like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I really fucking enjoyed it, actually. Apart from emo Doctor Doom, mm. I didn't like the actor that played him, but that's just, like, personal I liked, preference. I liked his scene where he came out and he was, like, like blowing up people's heads. Yeah. I liked that. That was pretty cool. Is that when he's going through, like, the corridors and shit? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty badass. I don't like the whole... I wish it had just been how it was in the original film where it's just they've all been hit with these different things mm. and his is particularly very bad <laughs> yeah but instead they sort of like left him on a planet for a while yeah i don't know i get why they did it and shit because they don't want to just carbon copy the first film i get that yeah but they're gonna make a return of course. Kevin Feige is like, they're not going to make a return, I promise. But no, they are going to make a return. They're the Fantastic Four. Of course they will. And I'm really hoping they cast good old Rick Grimes as Mr. Fantastic because he looks exactly like him. Yeah. It'd be fucking brilliant. You've just won. I have just won. <laughs> Yay. Um, I want them to do the Fantastic Four again. So, would you prefer it to be in the MCU or, or in the Netflix verse? Uh, MCU. Just because I think you can get more out of them in movies rather than in the... Because I don't think they'd work too much. There's too many... I think the Netflix verse is going downhill at the moment. Well, it's because... not just that. It's darker and they're more like heart characters. Yeah. They're sort of... Oh, sorry. <laughs> They've <laughs> gone for like quite a big push with Jessica Jones at the moment. They've started filming season three for that. Mm. And they've sort of like pushed Daredevil aside. Mm. And Daredevil were the thing that it was like, oh, this is good. Well, I think... Someone who would work really well in that is Wolverine. If yeah. you want to do a darker Wolverine. Do you reckon we're going to see a new Wolverine? Yes, I reckon we will. I reckon it's too popular a character to them to just get rid of. Have you seen that, um... Apparently the stuff with Tom Holland and Venom is like... Sony own Tom Holland as Spider-Man. Whereas, like... So if they wanted to literally take Spider-Man into the Venom films, it would be Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Right. And then Marvel would have to create a new Spider-Man. Oh, right. Which is then where you've got Miles Morales. So we could end up seeing Tom Holland's Spider-Man at a slightly older age after all the Avengers shit in an alternate universe <laughs> battling Venom with Miles Morales in the main run. I mean, alternate universe... Uh, versus Venom is going to be brilliant if it's Tom Holland. Yeah, because, it should uh, be really good. Well, it's not just that. I'm just thinking, hey, I'm Peter. I'm Venom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not playing on Taco Dana. We're playing on Star Killer Base. Um, so yeah, so that that's another thing we can talk about. The three different versions of Spider Man. Which one's your favorite? You obviously are going to say Tom Holland. Holland. Yeah, you. I've got like valid points for all of them apart from. No, I haven't. <laughs> I like Maguire's Peter Parker mm. because. Well, then I don't... Well, I'm not going to say it's better than Holland's Peter Parker, because Holland does the exact same thing that Maguire does. Mm. 
but like it's better than Garfield's Peter Parker because oh, Garfield's far. Peter Parker is just like a hipster. Garfield's Peter Parker, I think, is just him. He's just yeah, he's just a. It wasn't he like forty as well in the film? No, <laughs> he, he just looks about forty. <laughs> he did not look like he belonged in that school though. No, it should have been more adult Peter. But um, yeah, I really like Maguire's Peter Parker. Yeah, and obviously the films are good apart from the third. The film's watchable. Yeah, but it's not like third. it's not like a fantastic film though. No, but no, it is watchable. It's not like Amazing Spider-Man Two Levels of Bad. However, I will say, <laughs> you you don't like him, but I like um, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. I don't like him as I don't. Peter I see Parker. why you'd like him, mm. but I think it's just because like the first time I'd watched it, I was like, oh no, I prefer Maguire just because it's Maguire. Yeah, I just generally prefer it. Whereas, like I said, Garfield just seems like a fuckboy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, why would anybody like you as Spider-Man? Go away! Mm, I get that. Um, but no, I d like the first Amazing Spider-Man, I'd say is watchable. I'd say you can easily watch that and enjoy that as a Spider-Man film. Yeah. The second one, I'd say you couldn't. The second I don't one's... mind the second. <laughs> it's got moments <laughs> not that saying brilliant. it's good. <laughs> no, but it's like, Green Goblin, it's wank. He's yeah. He's awful. I like the thing that they were going with, Which like, the whole mutation thing, but it, should it have been wasn't Norman. good. It should have been Norman. It should have been Norman. Because, um... Instead, Norman had, like, weird, wrinkly, <laughs> weird wrinkly old fingernails. Well, because I get what they were trying to do. Oh, yeah. With, um... But the whole thing works oh with having God. Harry as, um, Green Goblin if Spider-Man's already beaten his dad because he gets revenge. Yeah. It's like, we haven't seen that. We haven't seen... Oh, sorry, I didn't realise that I'd cover up the screen. We haven't seen Harry um, want to get revenge. He's just sort of like, oh, you didn't give me your blood? Well, you're the weirdo. I'm going to go after you. Yeah. I hate you, dick. And then for some reason he figures out he's Peter and it, it makes no sense. That's, I'd say, my least favourite version of Green Goblin. I even prefer, like, James Franco Bro Goblin over that. James who? Franco. Oh, right. I you know, uh, Harry Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that goblin, actually. Where he's, like, surfing. Yeah, the new goblin. I like that one. Yeah. I'm a fan of... I like the costume for some reason, just because it's, like, a little bit less gimmicky. <laughs> With the modified paintball mask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, my favourite version of Green Goblin, uh, like, in, like, of all of it, is, like, probably the 1994 animated series one. See, I've never watched anything no, like that. Didn't. Um, where he's got, like, the... Classic suit, but he's yeah. mental. It, that's my favourite version. I like Willem Dafoe's version, but I pref I don't like the costume as much as the classic version. Yeah. Um, which is something I'm wanting them to do if they're going to introduce Green Goblin into the MCU. Have him with the classic suit, not the ultimate. I reckon they will go thing. with classic. They made Vulture look quite sort of like not traditional, but they sort of took the traditional look and went a, the right direction with it. Yeah, they made it like. They didn't, like, change his colours or anything like that. Like, they no. kept him fairly accurate. Yeah, but it was, like... Because Vulture, like, if they'd have made him completely legit, would have looked ridiculous. Yeah. You know, like, whereas Green Goblin, I think you can make work if you're doing a more traditional look. I think it'd look a bit weird if they went fully traditional, but if they changed it just enough, it might be all right. Yeah. You need to come back down this corridor. <laughs> oh, you are. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of men down here waiting for you, John. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> We're having a little duel. No. no it's over. Oh, dear. Um, what other, what other things? What is there? Uh, who, <laughs> who do you... What's your favourite Iron Man costume? Uh, from the films. Oh, I thought it Because I was going to say um, Ultimate Iron Man. Really? Have you not seen Ultimate Iron uh, Man? Yeah, and that's why I don't like it. Why? I just think it looks weird. Uh, from the films... I don't Which like his mark? Infinity War one. His Infinity War I one was like played. I can't stand when it's like really slick and obviously CGI. I like the whole sort of Transformers thing that they do, where it like molds around his body and you can like see all the circuits and shit moving. Mm. And they just sort of lost that with Infinity War. Yeah. The. Oh, I'd like to say the Mark. Um. Oh fuck. Oh, fucking hell. I is, it, is Mark 40 that's in Civil War? Yeah, I think so. I like that one. That I like his Civil War one. Like the battle damage shit. I like that. Actually, I know which one it is. And you only see it once. And I think it's in... Is it in Iron Man 3? No. <laughs> Where I think all it's in, of them come. <laughs> I think it's in like one random scene in um, Homecoming. 
All right. You know when he like goes and he saves um, Holland. Yeah. And then he's like giving him a lecture. That oh one. yeah, yeah. I yeah, really yeah. like that suit. It's not actually got Tony in it. It's just no. It's the one that has Tony. Oh, that right. he comes Out of I really yeah, yeah, like yeah. that one. Or that like cool like gold and red one where it's like like mainly gold as the yeah. color with like red details. I like that one as well. Oh my god. What are you doing? Go away. I'm just murking these poor casters. I was like, you, hello. Yes, I'm, I'm Chewy Bicky. Chew, Chewy Bicky. Chewy Bicky. <laughs> I am Chewy Bicky. But yeah, I like the battle damage shit. What about like... I suppose like Captain America outfits. Do you prefer like the traditional sort of comic book accurate or like the revamped like padded, like more padded. armour? Padded more. I like the... My favourite one is his um, Winter Soldier one. Yeah. With black. I like that one a lot. Oh, fucking hell. You've just rambled around the corner. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. No! <laughs> oh, I killed you. I didn't realise. Yeah, you got me. I must have thrown something at you. I think you did. Oh, God. Um... We're running out of people. What about, like, Green Lanterns? Diversity aside, do you prefer Jon Stewart or Hal Jordan? Hal Jordan's pretty cool. I think oh, Hal Jordan's the only one I know. I don't really know Jon Stewart that much. I've only seen Jon Stewart once, and that was in... Is it Infinite Crisis? Or Final Crisis? Something like that, yeah. It was one of the crises that I own. <laughs> but, I don't know. I don't... Because there's always the thing where it's like, oh, if you say Hal Jordan, you're racist. That's what that's what the community's turned into now. Yeah. It's like, oh, what, you like Peter Parker, you fucking racist? No. <laughs> no I prefer Peter Parker over my... I like Miles, but I prefer Peter Parker. See, I just don't see the need for, like... Because I don't... I don't know. I, I don't know. I just like Tom Holland too much. I'm scared that they're going to kill Tom Holland off yeah. and replace him with Miles Morales. That's why I don't like Miles Morales. I don't think they're going to replace him. I reckon we'll get them both in a I film. reckon it'll just be, like, a buddy cop film. Yeah. Like, I don't see them killing... I don't reckon Sony... Now you've said that about Sony. I don't reckon Sony would let them kill him off. Yeah. I don't know. It's fucking difficult now. Yeah. Um, yeah. What other... Have you got any, like, artists or anything else? You got any... I can't think of any more artists. What's, like, your favourite artistic Joker costume or view or, like, the way that Joker's been interpreted? Like, you don't like the way that he looks in the Batman? Because you're not keen on your, you're not keen on dreadlocks, Joker. No, I, and I'm not keen on his bare feet either. <laughs> I didn't realise he had bare feet. Yeah. I like, see, I like the classic, uh, classy Joker look. Yeah. But uh, if I'm going to say something, I'd have to say Endgame. Endgame, I think he looks really cool. Oh yeah. I like him in War of Riddles, but With he looks better in Endgame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the whole like fact he's grown a face back, so he looks really messed up. Yeah. Like because Joker should be messed up. I've never understood why he's like always drawn as like with this pristine skin. Fuck why knows? You won again. <laughs> okay. Why is he not always like more messed up? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I think why I like Jerome so much because he's just. You look at him, you're like shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> his face is fucked. Um, I'm trying to think of other versions of things we can talk about. Or other like yeah. talking points about comics. I think that's it for now. Yeah. I think we've I think we've exhausted it. I can't think of anything off the top of my head anyway. Um, what about oh, Bruce Wayne's from the films? Uh, who was the best? Because Bruce Wayne? Christian Bale isn't a great Bruce Wayne. I think he's he's good. good. He's not a great Bruce Wayne. I liked him whenever the show was being just like an asshole. That's good. I think Ben Affleck might be the, my favorite Bruce Wayne. See, I don't think we've seen enough of him as Bruce Wayne. I've I just don't him. like any of the others. Um, Keaton's was too soft. He like fell in love with pretty much everybody he looked at. <laughs> he was like, oh, Vicky Vale, Kachika. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Selena Kyle, Kachika. Val Kilmer an alright Bruce Wayne. Yeah. He wasn't an alright Batman. He also fell in love very, very quickly though. Well, they have to do that for the film. I yeah. Guess. Well, for the time being, what Batman was. Like, you remember Batman in the George 80s. Clooney was a savage. Because it was like, Poison Ivy was like, ooh, and he was like, no. <laughs> he just like punched her and was like, no. The best Your charm doesn't work on me. You mean good old, hey, Freeze, I'm Batman. Yeah. <laughs> not George Clooney. Of course. No. Uh, We're not going to talk about Childish Batman. Childish Landino. Then. <laughs> We're not going to talk about George Clooney Batman. Oh, um, God. I still, you, I still stand by Ben Affleck being the best Batman in Batman vs Superman. 
He's the Lash, only so. Batman in Batman vs. No, Superman. I mean, like, the best Batman <laughs> I've seen is the one from in Batman live, vs. Superman. Yeah, in live action. But after, after Justice League, I say he's not the best Batman. He was fine until he smiled. I'm fine with, like, fuckboy Bruce Wayne hitting on, like, Wonder Woman. Well, yeah, because he does I'm in the fine with that. cartoon. It's I just... don't agree with what they did to Wonder Woman, like, have, a, like, reshoots oh. that were pointless. It's I don't horrible. agree with that at all. It was fucking horrible. Mm. But I don't mind, like, um, them trying to make some sort of romance thing out. Because uh, in the cartoon, they actually went were together, which is fine. So yeah. I'm fine with that. Plus, it's Bruce Wayne. You can do would you want. prefer... I don't know. Like, what do you reckon would be just, like, an overall better franchise storyline for the DCEU? What they're doing at the moment, which is starting off with a group of people and then splitting off and doing all the solo films and then building back up to another group film or setting them up no 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 or what snyder did with injustice i would like the injustice storyline i know that you've said before it's not good as a like a starting point for a universe it's good something God, that man. you've got to do you've got to build up to it yeah you can't just like all right here's injustice <laughs> um one thing i will say is um i I do like that they tried to be more comic accurate. I mean, not necessarily being like... Because comics don't have to be the big focal point of... I think you don't have to stick necessarily to the comic. It's just well, nice Marvel have do. shown that you don't have to do that. Yeah. Well, like... The issue I've got with Marvel doing it is they did the Infinity War film. Off they of did the Infinity it. Gauntlet yeah, they did story. it the wrong, wrong thing. I don't mind them necessarily calling it... Um, like, I don't mind them necessarily <coughs> doing that story. That's fine. And But... And I'm not saying, oh, you have to stick to this and that's it. But I do wish they'd have named it right. Because <laughs> Infinity was a different thing, so that confused me a little bit. But now it's happened, it's happened. And it made millions, so it must have worked. Yeah, I think they hit two billion. Plus, well, yeah. they said that they'll hit three billion before it comes to DVD. Yeah. So well, I like, they've done something right. I like the Infinity Gauntlet story. I haven't read War, but I will admit Infinity War's a better name than Gauntlet. It rolls off the tongue a lot easier. But, um, no, I think that... They, I did like how they tried to like replicate panels and put them straight into the thing. I like that Snyder actually made that effort. Yeah. The issue I've got is Snyder couldn't write the film. <laughs> he couldn't write for shit. They should have had like because they got Patty Jenkins, didn't they, to write Wonder Woman? Yeah. And her that's, writing uh, commended. Yeah, that's something that's popped up recently. Actually, do you remember like it was sort of like in Nolan we trust? Yeah. That's like what Patty Jenkins is now. It's like in in Jenkins we trust. <laughs> Well, what they should just do is either make solo Batman films or make a Batman universe, because that's all they seem to I think have it to do. would have been a better option to just do a Batman universe or do, like, do a Batman universe with, like, the Bat family and stuff, and then maybe have a separate Superman universe, mm. and then if it's successful, connect them. Yeah. Not just. Well, oh, that's what the original. Uh, do you remember the original, like, Marvel? Film? So you have, like,. Old Daredevil and that was crap, but you had yeah, like yeah. a whole old Spider-Man like, run. Spider-Man, Punisher, Daredevil, yeah, and they were meant to like they were going to think about doing crossovers. Well, yeah, because Punisher was in Spider-Man Two, weren't it? Or he was meant? Isn't the actor in it? Something like that. And he was meant to cameo or something. But they never did it. Because <laughs> the film didn't succeed. So th that's fine doing that. But the issue then is, if you're doing a Batman universe, how many? How long is it before people get bored of it? Yeah. Because Nolan's work, because it was only three movies. I think then... Batman's is the easiest, depending on if you saw... It, th this is for a whole other video, planning out a Batman universe, but if you were going to do it in a nutshell, I think you need to do, like, the first film, then have your, like, your sort of sidekick tie-ins, <sighs> like Batgirl, Nightwing, <clears throat> what have you. The second film, with all them in it. Yeah. And then from that second film, you go off and you do sort of like, oh, a Red Hood film with the Outlaws in or whatever... Nightwing can start his own well, trilogy. Well, people, blah, blah, blah. I remember we getting excited because there was news of it like dropping the death of the family storyline into live action. And we were yeah. like, oh yes, this will be great. And I'm like, you can't do that because it's the none whole of it's of it, been established. Yeah, that's it. The point of it's Joker is established and has been a threat for years before they do that, and then they try and shoehorn that in on Suicide. I was like, no, because I still don't believe it. He still looks naff, which is why I think that this whole dark because at the minute they're split into two universes, aren't they? You've got the main one, then you have the dark one, which is what the Joaquin Phoenix film. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that film though. I, I am now. It will that, be good. I am now that they've said it's going to be more like a mob thing. I thought that was quite interesting. Mm. And if it's good, it'll definitely get a sequel. 
Oh yeah, definitely. It'll just probably be like a straight. They'll they'll run both universes, and it'll literally be just like which one's more successful, the mm. dark one or the normal one, because if it's the dark one, it's simple. Jared Leto's already over in Sony now with that Mor Morbius thing, whatever it's which called. Which I actually kind of am looking forward to because I reckon. But cause... that's the thing. It's like well, people are already wandering off on the main well, one. Cara so Delevingne just... just left. She was. Enchantress and she just fucked up. So you just restrict it down, like the dude who played um, Perry White, he's gone over to Marvel now. Mm. So you just, you like restrict it down so it's like Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and like maybe Green Lantern will succeed or something. And they're like one universe with like Batman shoehorned in. Mm. And then you've got like the separate universe which well, is all connected to Batman more. leaving now. Like oh. He but can fuck it's like, off. <laughs> it's like, well, what do, people want to see Jeffrey Dean Morgan, is it? And I am in, I am excited about that. <laughs> but the issue with that yes. is they want to do Flashpoint. But Flashpoint doesn't put those characters in. Flashpoint is just a world where they exist. I think the simple thing would be do Flashpoint the exact same, but at some stage you've got normal Batman killed in, like, the normal world. And, like, you've got the interact. Do you know from... The isn't it in the like the button or something where Thomas and Bruce talk? Yeah. You have that scene shoot because they're not going to like do the exact same as the comic. They'll like change it around and what have you. Well, the way they could do it is so uh... you just shoehorn it in that Bruce dies and Thomas decides to take his place in honor of him. Well, the excuse could literally be that the three universes mo merge, merge, merge um, with the Flashpoint one. But be you could say something like I don't know because it merges, it has to take I don't know genetic superiority and Thomas is a superior. <laughs> genetics or whatever so he has to become batman or something there'd be a way you could work around it if you desperately want Def jeffrey d morgan in it but another way you could work it is just recast bruce yeah just, like people want jake gyllenhaal we're not gonna get him now no though. definitely not but just recast him oh now that he's john mysterio ham. josh brolin john ham give me ham i want ham i want josh brolin as you're not gonna batman. get him that's never gonna happen but you're not awesome. getting him might be awesome i reckon him. now that gyllenhaal's gone <laughs> And Affleck's, you know, Affleck's gonna fucking leave. If he's not gonna leave, they need to just get him out because he's causing too much trouble pissing around. Well, the most trouble at the minute is the fucking Deathstroke guy. He's saying, <laughs> I want to do a film unless I get a film. I want a franchise. <laughs> Wait, fuck off. You're playing Deathstroke. <laughs> and although Deathstroke's great, he doesn't deserve a solo film at this point. He's a fucking bad guy. This, John, was a lovely podcast about diversity and different versions of characters. It was fantastic. And it's turned into a roast about the DCU's actors. That's not what I was going to say, actually. What do you prefer, Retro Batman or... Oh, that was something I was going to say. We're different versions of Batman. We didn't actually talk about Batman. Go on, then. So my favourite version is Batman Beyond. Well, I mean, I sort of like Batman Beyond. But not uh, Tim Drake Batman. It I like Tim Drake. Uh, it Terry was all right. Um, I don't know. I really like Dick Grayson's at the moment, just because it's the only one that I've actually finished a run with. Not Thomas Wayne? No, because I've not read it yet. Oh, fair enough. It, once I've read, like, his sort of, like, spin-off thing, then fair enough. Mm. But the whole, like, Batman that kills thing doesn't really bother me. Yeah. Because you take away the fact that he kills people, and he's just the same as Batman. He's just a little bit angrier. Yeah. <laughs> so, to me, there's not much difference. That's why I think it'd be easy to swap them over into the DCEU because... Mm, the Batman already kills in the DCEU. Exactly. So, I don't know. I don't mind New 52 Batman, but reading, like, the origins and shit, and because it drags so much, I don't really like it as, as mm. much as everything else. Yeah. But anywho, as Minecraft loads up, this was a podcast about diversity. <laughs> a podcast about many, many things. Diversity... Hating on the DCU actors and oh, variations. What are you going to ask now? The Watchmen thing that's been announced. You what Watchmen that? thing that's series. been announced? What series? The Watchmen series for HBO what? that's been announced. It got announced like a year ago. I know. <laughs> what, are you excited for it? Um, not if John Cena's playing Dr. Manhattan. He isn't. <laughs> he isn't. He's someone officially. It's not John Cena. That would be fucking good. I am looking forward to, to it. To prepare for the human be and threat. Do, 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 do. Because it's on HBO and HBO do Game of Thrones, I reckon it'll be good. You haven't watched Game of Thrones. But the budget. It's better than it going to the CW. <laughs> oh, Night Owl's got 
a leather Kevlar armor. And no, Doctor, he's wearing a gimp outfit. Doctor Manhattan just like made of like um... they're painted in blue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like you know, like Hulk costumes you could get. Yeah, <laughs> but no, like the rubber hands. It's he's just got all a rubber that. penis. <laughs> it's a rubber everything. I just. I don't want it. I, I don't mind because it's on HBO. I reckon it'll be good. Mm. If it had been on Sci-Fi or because I know Krypton's not bad, but it looks a bit weird. Yeah. I know Sci-Fi and CW are a bit shit at the moment. So because it's HBO, yeah, mm. I reckon it'll be good. Even if they fuck up some of the casting, I reckon they'll pull through with it. Yeah. My issue is, what do you do once you've finished the actual Watchmen comic? Do you do? Do you add in before the Watchmen to stretch it out? Do you do your own stories? What do you do once you've gone past the original graphic novel? Doomsday Clock. That's the thing, though. Do you do that? Because that means you've then got to incorporate Batman, Superman, everybody that crosses over. Or do you literally just do one season of Watchmen... It finishes like the end of the thing does with a massive octopus in the middle of New York. Not, not, like, <laughs> not where he blows it all using my <laughs> A massive octopus. So, depending on how they do it, I reckon it'll be good. They'll probably do before the Watchmen. If they're going to milk it, no. Even if they do before the Watchmen. I reckon they'll do before the Watchmen and they're, where they do obviously their team as the Watchmen as heroes. I reckon that'll be a whole season. It'll end with them like taking that picture. Yeah. And then they'll do the Watchmen graphic for the second season. It might be... Um, I think the, the casting list that I went on was bullshit. Right. Because um, it did have Jeffrey Dean Morgan as comedian. <laughs> that was the fan casting. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got a feeling that might be bollocks. Yeah, because he's already done that. <laughs> Anywho, I've done the outro twice now, so you can do it. What? Go on. What, do do the outro. This I don't know. How this, has been outro a, video? this has been a podcast about <laughs> about gender. I mean, I haven't been about gender. It's no. been about um, <laughs> diversity. <laughs> about diversity. Anything related and to one thing related to gender. And yeah. That was female form. <laughs> <laughs> Still, we've covered it. But I brought up. We've had gender, diversity, different versions of characters, shitting on the DCU, shitting on Suicide Squad. And praising Watchmen for being on HBO and not other... And trying to work <laughs> out what the fuck's gonna go on with its series. So yeah, thank you for listening. That was a lovely hour. Hey, we've actually done A hour. lovely hour. We did, we've done a podcast. A proper podcast. I want to try and do these weekly. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. We'll probably have to do um over xbox live but that's fine i don't care yeah, i'm in between recording we'll do whatever <laughs> it don't bother me but anywho leave a like i'm gonna put good hashtags in this so that it gets views good hashtags fam. good hashtags and we will see you guys <laughs> next time say goodbye, okay, say goodbye. <laughs> or i'll slap you <laughs> bye bye fuck <laughs>